UMC just became the first hospital to administer the COVID-19 vaccine here in Southern Nevada. The hospital has already vaccinated hundreds of its employees and frontline workers today, and they're holding a press conference right now. Let's take a listen in and see if we can get an update on that vaccine. We received around 1,850 vials of the Pfizer uh, COVID vaccine. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to dethaw the virus, uh, the vaccine, but we're doing a systematic approach to be able to roll that out to make sure we're being very efficient and effective and not having any waste at all. Uh, but again, we've uh, done a few hundred employees inside and we will continue to vaccine, vaccine and immunize our employees throughout the rest of the week. So um, with that, I just wanna say, I appreciate the partnership with the state, the health district, our federal delegation, and all the researchers and scientists, but most importantly, those individuals that volunteered to be in the trial for the vaccine. It really is a life changer and uh, I see hope on the horizon and uh, things moving very quickly for our community. So with that, I'm open to any questions you may have. Correct. So we have an entire process here at UMC. It's very thorough, well thought out, and follows all the CDC and health district guidelines. So, in fact, I will uh, uh, let me get here in my pocket here. This is actually the first vial that was actually uh, uh, given today. This is empty. It's already been utilized. But in this vial, we're able to get five doses of the uh, vaccine out to our employees. So it's 1.5 milliliters. So we break that down in 0.3 micrograms, and we're able to uh, dispense this very quickly within about 15 minutes to five employees. So again, this is the first vial uh, that's been administered in the state of Nevada. So just to break it down, so each vial is 1850, you multiply that by five, and that's how many people will get it? Correct, so we, we will um, we'll break down those vials and those doses. They come in 975, vials in a frozen block. So we, what we do is systematically break that block up. We dethaw them. Um, it takes about 30 minutes, um, but if we don't dethaw them, they can stay in the freezer for up to six months. But we anticipate uh, thawing all the vac vaccines that we have here and rolling that out in the next seven to eight days. And I'm sorry, how many did you say, how many different employees will get um, vaccinated a day? And how many employees do you have total yeah, we have about 4,000 employees here at UMC, um, at UMC alone, but we also vaccin uh, vaccinate our partners at UNLV Medicine and our community doctors. So you can add another about 800 on that number. So we'll do close to 5,000 over the next seven to eight days. Um, again, it's uh, frontline workers initially, those that are actually treating patients, actively treating patients. We have about 129 patients in UMC currently that we're treating actively for COVID. And so uh, a lot of that staff was here early this morning. And then 21 days later, they'll get the second vaccination, the booster. Uh, and then we're tracking that very closely. So, uh, but again, very thorough process that we have inside. Uh, we, we go through a lot of screening questions, making sure people are, are immune compromised or um, blood thinners or pregnant or breastfeeding, those type of things. So. And then we'll actually uh, administer the vaccine. We have them wait for 15 minutes to make sure that there's no side effects or reactions. We have not had any uh, yet today. Uh, very encouraged and the staff are back at, at the bedside. So it's going very smoothly today. And I just wanna say thank you to the UMC team to making it so smooth and um, really effortless. They are doing a great job and lots of excitement. And like I said, lots of tears this morning because there is the solution is here. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I'll come to you, Mary. Okay. Would you thaw the vial? Can you refreeze it or do you no. have to use it right away? So we have, once we thaw it, we have five days, five days to, to administer the vaccine. So time is, is critical and of the essence. So we're moving very quickly and uh, trying not to push up against that five days, but they're thawing, uh, defawing fast as we can and we're, the demand is there. So uh, we have no problems to meeting that five day time frame. And is, is, it, is it mandatory for your staff or is it, or is it voluntary? It is voluntary, highly encouraged. Um, we have a lot of interest, so, uh, um, but we're tracking every employee that's had the vaccine initial and then the second booster and following them to make sure that they come back and make sure that they're fully um, protected. And, uh, but again, uh, not mandatory. 
um, not mandatory in the state or the country yet, but we're, we're probably going to see greater than 90% acceptance rate. Mary. Hi, Mason. Yeah. Um, you're vaccinating CVS and Walgreens. So I was curious, is this a vaccination hub? So no. Uh, so what we have, Mary, today is uh, we got a call very early on. We're really expecting to roll this out Wednesday, uh, but we got a, a call from the health district and said, it's here. Uh, I said, we're ready and let's get it rolling. So uh, this all happened within a matter of hours. Um, it was transported from the health district right around 11.10 today, 11.10 a.m. Uh, we started vaccinating our first employer around 11.45. Um, as you can see that, that de-thawing process and then administering to our first uh, frontline workers. So, so not uh, anything related to Walgreens or CVS. This is uh, solely healthcare workers at this point, tier one. Yeah, we're, we're looking at all those patients that may be compromised, vulnerable. Uh, within that tier one, as you know, nursing home patients are the most vulnerable. So uh, we'll be working very closely with the nursing home uh, community and the health district to be able to roll that out to make sure that we're protecting the healthcare workers in nursing homes, but also in, in uh, patients in the nursing homes. And we'll also be looking at our patients that are in UMC as well. That'll, we need to get through the healthcare workers first. Obviously, we're in protective equipment, doing all the therapeutics and treatments. So uh, we're doing really well at the hospital. And again, just very grateful for the time the state gave us to be able to prepare for this historic day. Uh, it's here and uh, we're looking good. We're very excited. And this is just the first dose you received so far, correct? So when do you receive the second dose and how many of those uh, minus 83 do you have available? So, uh, so yeah, UMC, we have to keep this in deep storage. So negative 71, 73 degrees. Uh, we're able to receive a lot of the vaccine. So it'll be coming directly to us um, after this first initial wave from the health district. And uh, again, they'll be coming daily. So I don't anticipate uh, any run on uh, the vaccine or being short at all. It's, it's, it's moving very quickly. And again, very appreciative to all those that have been able to get it here in our community. All right, you just heard from UMC CEO Mason Van Howling there talking about the big story both here and really across the country. The first doses of that Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine arriving here, now being administered to our uh, frontline healthcare professionals. Mason mentioned there that there has been no side effects yet for those healthcare workers. They are monitoring that. We'll keep you updated if we hear any new information.